Hey all and welcome back to our channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Tiffany and today I'm going to show you an old-fashioned way of canning things. Now, a little while back, if you haven't yet, go check it out. I did a tomato soup for a friend's collab. If not, I will try to post it up here so you guys can go check it out. <coughs> Where um, she had the soup collab going on for September. And I, we go through so much tomato soup in this house. I'm like, I'm going to make my own. So I made my own. Fabulous soup. Very yummy. But now I have so much of it. What do I do with it? Well, we're going to show you how to use, I just learned what this is called, the open kettle method. Yeah, I know everybody. Isn't that amazing? It's the way my grandparents did it. It's the way their grandparents before them did it. I mean, with no newfangled machinery or anything required. It's kind of a neat concept, isn't it? So I'm going to take you guys along on the journey and show you how to do this open kettle method. So why don't we just go hop right in and we'll, I'll see you over there in the kitchen. Hey everyone, so as you can see, I've got my mason jars and well, my little spaghetti <laughs> jar that I'm going to use sitting on a cookie sheet, ready to go in the oven. And if I go over here to my stove, you'll see the soup is green coming back up to a boil. I added most of it over to this pot and eventually I'm hoping that this pot can go into that pot. So I'll have this section for the can the, to put the jars on. But you saw them on the mason, uh, the mason jars are all set up on the cookie sheet. My oven is set to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So now I'm going to put those jars into the oven for at least 15 minutes to sterilize them. So I will be back with you guys when it's ready to start jarring. And as you all can see, I've got my lids in the pot. I'm going to go put that on the stove so that they boil to sterilize. And then my rings are right over there, so I'm ready to go when the jars come out and I start to can. Okay, everyone. So as you can see, I am out in my ki uh, out in my uh, kitchen now, and it's been 15 minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the jars from the oven. So that's what I'm about to do. Now you want to do this really quickly, so you got to make sure you have everything ready, right on the ready, because you want the hot soup, as you can see, which is back to boiling, and everything done so that it can easily be um, done real quickly. So hang on, I got to move you guys back a little bit. I just realized I blocked my oven door. Huh, leave it to me, right? All right, everybody, here goes nothing. Here come my jars that are nicely sterilized, and there you guys go. Okay, so now I'm just going to move you guys back to where you were. So you can see the jars over there. So I'm going to now take my handy dandy canning funnel and we're going to stick it in there like that. I have my ladle and we're just going to ladle it in. Oops, a little closer. You just kind of start ladling it in like this. And you are going to want to leave headroom in your jars. So I fill it just to about the bottom, like right down here at the brim. You'll notice. And that should, that right to the bottom of the funnel. So now we will just continue to repeat. Oh no, that one's not going to fit. Now we just complete, uh, continue with the process and I will be back with you guys when it's time to put the lids on. Okay, so now that you see that I've got the jars all filled, I'm taking a wet paper towel and I'm just kind of going around the outside of the lid and the jars to make sure I get all of the tomato off of the 
the necks. And if you guys were paying attention during my little uh, oops there, oops, I did have a spill. So this jar really needs to be cleaned up. Okay, so now I've cleaned up that mess. And yes, as you guys can see, I do still have some tomato soup left, so I'm going to have to do some more jars. I did not calculate correctly. But now that you see that, I take my handy dandy little tool here, and we're going to grab the um, the lids. Hang on. They gave me a little bit of a hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Got the lid. And yes, I'm drying it off, and a lot of people probably would yell at me for that. But with this method, you'll see why soon. Where'd my little tool go? Can I get that on? Okay, now that all the lids are on, Tied to add all of our jars, or our things, our rings. Yeah, I can't speak today. So, I don't have a special glove. So, I'm going to thank my friend Rebecca at Touch by Yarn. She sent me this beautiful pot holder. I'm going to use it to hold my jars because they're still extremely hot. So I'm going to go with this one first. I'll just tighten down the lid. That. Gonna hold it. And since I'm not doing any other processing, I can tighten down the lids as far as I want to. Okay, all. So now you can see everything is turned tightly on the lid front. So now I'm going to use my handy dandy, oops, upside, upside down, oopsies, my jar here. We're gonna use it to help me to turn all of the jars on their lids like this for five minutes. All right, so now I will leave them upside down like that for five minutes. This will help to kill anything that may have gotten on the jar lids during the canning process, even with the boiling and everything like that. So I'll be back with you guys in five minutes. Okay, y'all, it's been five minutes. And as you can see, I flipped them back around, moved them over to my makeshift cooling slash drying mat. I don't have one of those fancy smancy ones. So I use an old placemat that we no longer use as my cooling mat. So there they are. As the jars cool, I will we will hear the traditional ping as the the seals are um, set. So now I have that. So now I have to go all the way over here again. And you see, I've just got any jar I could find right now because I realize I don't have a lot of jars in the house right now for canning. I need to get some more. So I found most of what I could. And I'm gonna put them in for the heating process and repeat the process now so that the rest of this soup can get canned up and go into our pantry. So there you have it, everybody. A very easy, simple way to can uh, tomato soup. I mean, my grandparents used to do it that way. They taught me how to do it that way and my mom how to do it. I mean, we've been canning like this forever and had no issues with this a simple method to do stuff without uh, any fancy equipment or water bathing it or anything like that. Now, it only does work with higher acidic foods. I will admit I would still use other methods. If you're more comfortable with using other methods, by all means, you can use those other methods. But things like meats and stews and stuff like that, I would still probably water bath them if nothing else. It will be better. But for certain things, I never really done it and we haven't really had any issues so this is my preferred method of how to can but i 
don't knock any of the other ones. I mean, I, I honestly have never tried the pressure canning because uh, it's a little uh, scares, scares me a little bit. But I've done the water bath before as well. So by all means, if you feel more comfortable using those two methods, uh, all the power to you. I'd love to see your videos. I mean, link them down in the description below so I can take take a look at some of them and check out some awesome, awesome more content. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed watching me can up my tomato soup after making my tomato soup. And now I get to have it later in the winter when it's all cold and we have to, we want to have stew. You all know our chicken stew requires tomato soup. So it's going to be so nice to make our chicken soup later with the tomato soup that I made myself and jarred myself. But anyway, I got to go finish up the jar, the, the process because all these pingings are going to start going off here soon. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, come join our family. We're an awesome bunch of people, awesome community, and we can get up into a lot of different chaos and some delicious food. And with winter coming, there's a lot of stuff coming up. Yeah. So I'm going to get back to the, the canning process, and I will see everybody in the next one. Bye.